guys, welcome back to 90 Feet From Home. I'm your host, Ashley. And if you're new here, this is a YouTube channel all about explaining the ins and outs of baseball. So whether you're a seasoned fan or you're new to the game, the entire point of this show is just to explain all of the phrases you might hear, the terms, the stats, all of that stuff broken down one episode at a time to really give you an in-depth look at what baseball is and help you understand the game better. Before we get into today's episode, I just wanna take a minute to talk about a magazine called Road Grays. I'm talking about it not because it's my magazine, but I am featured in the first issue, which is out now. It was created by Austin and Megan Stahl and they kickstarted the whole thing probably uh, about half a year ago. And I was lucky enough to be featured in that first issue. Um, my piece uh, is the first one in the issue kind of cool. Um, you can still get this. I will link it down below. I just wanted to take a minute to talk about it because it is a really neat literary designed magazine. It's beautifully put together. Lots of great stories in here kind of spanning baseball overall. The reason I bring it up is just because if you are new to baseball or even if you're an old fan, it does have a lot of different takes on the sport and it's definitely worth picking up. I know they're working on issue two right now. So if you're a baseball writer and want to contribute, check out that link down below. Once again, Road Grays, pick up the first issue right now. It's awesome. Uh, and with that, we're gonna get on to today's lingo lesson. I know, woo, lingo lessons. I pushed my chair back and I think I'm maybe a little bit too far into the corner because I keep like, so today for our lingo lesson, we are gonna talk about the Mendoza line. This is one that doesn't get brought up a whole lot, but when somebody is doing really, really badly in a season, you may hear this get mentioned. So the Mendoza line is definitely not something you want to hear mentioned when referring to a player, especially if you are that player, because the entire conceit of the Mendoza line is meant to indicate when a player's offense becomes so terrible, it is borderline or downright incompetent. So it's named after Mario Mendoza, and I'm sure he's thrilled to have that accolade attached to his name. He he was a player for the Mariners, the Pirates, and the Rangers. Now Mario has the unlucky distinction of having at least four of his five major league seasons where he was consistently under the 200 line. I'm gonna link down below to my video about batting average if you're not sure what that 200 indicates, but it basically means that for every 10 at bats, he was getting maybe two hits. Not exactly ideal statistics for a major league player, that's for sure. So basically that 200 mark became known as the Mendoza line, and it was actually Kansas City Royals great George Brett who brought the term into popular culture. He mentioned it once, I believe, when he was hitting relatively poorly and it kind of stuck. So while he definitely wasn't the originator of the phrase, he did popularize it in baseball culture. You won't hear the Mendoza line mentioned too often early in the season just because of the small sample size of at-bats where you can have guys hitting well over 500 and guys hitting well below 100 even in those first couple weeks of the season. You might often have guys hitting well below that 200 mark early in the season just if they're on a bit of a dry run or guys hitting near that 200 mark early in the season just because they're having a bit of a rough go. But if you see a player hitting underneath that 200 mark, say in May, it's very likely that that player is going to either be sent down to a minor league team to kind of work out what's going on with him or possibly get DFA'd, which stands for designated for assignment. And that's something we're going to talk about pretty soon in a future episode. Just basically means the team is pretty much done with him. So it's actually probably worth mentioning at this point that Mario Mendoza himself ended with a career average of 215, which was above the Mendoza line. That's still not exactly stellar numbers to have attached to your career. So why does it matter? The entire point of the Mendoza line is that it assesses when a player's offensive value becomes so reduced or borderline incompetent that it doesn't matter how good their defense is. Now in one of my other episodes where we talked about lineups and player positions, I did mention that some players have more defensive value than offensive value. Guys like your shortstop or your catcher, their value is definitely more in their defense, which means that if they're not that great offensive, they're still valuable to their team. The Mendoza line is a point where your offense is so bad it doesn't matter how good you are defensively because you're just a liability to your team at that point. So if you keep an eye on a player's statistics throughout the season and you notice that they're either under or very near that 200 mark pretty consistently, there's a very good chance you're not going to be seeing that player for much longer. And that is the Mendoza line in a nutshell. So 200 in a batting average is definitely not a great thing to have on your record. And that 
that is the Mendoza line. Hope you found that helpful. Remember to subscribe and hit that like button. I'm told I'm supposed to tell you guys that more frequently in the middle of the episode, so I might be mentioning it more often, but because I told you about a magazine at the beginning, I think I'm gonna like play off and do this one at the end. Um, so subscribe, hit like. Remember you can follow me on social media everywhere at 90 feet from home. That little buzzer is gonna go up over my head as usual. Send me comments there, follow on Facebook, tell me what you wanna see. Always happy to make episodes based on request. And if you hit that bell next to the subscribe button, you'll get a reminder every Tuesday, Thursday, and now Saturday with these Lingo Lesson episodes when new episodes are posted. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye!